Good morning, you two. Mike here. We're just starting to reassemble this transmission. And if you look down in here, this is the uh, gear that I cut. And it's all installed. It's been pressed onto this shaft. And I uh, have a brand new bearing in the other end here. And this is the pinion that we cut also. And I had a little bit of trouble originally uh, that um, this was not turning real smoothly with the other gear that I cut. But I polished the teeth just a little bit and I put just about a 64th of an inch of chamfer on the leading and trailing edge of the pinion teeth and that seemed to do the job. And you can see I didn't take much off, just enough to take the uh, heat treat scale off of there. Okay, now I'm not exactly sure of the right sequence to put this back together. I can't quite remember. But I do know that this bearing goes over the pinion shaft here, like so. So now, this goes on here. That's the clutch dog. And this goes here. Okay, so now this has got to go over the pinion at the same time that this shifting lever goes in here. Now, let's see. Seems to go there. This bearing will fit into this bore in the case here. So now, oops, that's wrong. And so we had a guy pull up and said, hey man, can you weld this jack on my trailer real quick? And I said, well, sure, no problem. Well, it's maybe not the most uh, dramatic work, but it does help pay for my machining habit. doesn't help that I hurt my back about a week ago so it really hurts to get in some of these positions but uh, maybe the best way to handle it is just keep moving.
finally, here's a shot of my transmission back together. Seems to work okay in the two gears and uh, providing it doesn't leak or anything like that through the seals, uh, it should be done and ready to install on the machine. Okay guys, here's the next thing we have. Uh, this is a little piece off a snow blower. That's an old craftsman. And the gentleman was replacing a, a bearing on the uh, auger and he had to remove this and when he did he broke the ear off of it. And what this is, is a little brake paw that when the auger level is released, this slips down and kind of breaks the pulley that drives the auger so that the auger completely is stopped. I believe it's kind of a safety device. And you can see like the V-shape here where it goes down in the pulley. And that is actuated by this rod here. And that pins onto this rod with a, a little uh, split pin. And so what we have to do is remake this. And what I've chosen for material is this piece of micarta. And uh, this is uh, linen-based linen laminated phenolic. Uh, and uh, I think it, it should have pretty good, pretty good frictional properties as well as uh, be a, about as wear, wear resistant as you can fine for this application so anyway we'll get going we'll get a piece of this off of here and uh, we'll get a layout the other thing that I did is uh, these are the, the skids for this snow blower and uh, the bottom wear pads were, were worn out and falling off so I put maybe a quarter inch by inch and a quarter wear pads on the bottom of the Now, before we make this little brake paw, we need to get our vise up on the mill and get it uh, indicated in. And first of all, I go over the table with a real hard stone. And what I'm doing is I'm feeling for, for burrs and raised places. And then I go over and I do the same thing on the bottom of the vise so that I know it's perfectly clean and there's no, no burrs or nicks to, uh, to hold this thing up. And when I first set it on the table, I eyeball it as straight as I can get it.
that's all for now. This is Mike signing out. Bye.